<laughs> Roger said he goes, he goes, uh, by the way, I've never done that in the car. Should have done more. All right, it's time now for a fake phone call. Hello, Coughlin Corvette. Yeah, yeah, we got, we got Corvettes. Deliver? Hang on one second. Hey, Ricky, the delivery driver available? Yeah, I can deliver what you want. Uh, Cooper convertible. Okay, Coop. Red? Yeah, I can do red. Okay. Uh, what package? Three? Okay. What about the interior? What you want there? Okay, natural. Now, do you want the natural or do you want the natural dipped? You want the dip. Okay, we got the dip. Uh, what kind of wheels? Trident? Silver. All right? All right. You want a what? Just the side of red calipers? Okay. You want that Z51 thing? No? All right. Hang on a second. I better make sure I got enough red calipers. Hey, how many red calipers we got back there? Four? That's all I need. All right, I got you four red calipers. Uh-huh. Uh, give me, uh, uh, give me about two and a half hours and I'll have it ready for you, all right? All right. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And when you were watching my Corvette Stork video delivering some of those C8s all over the country, I do appreciate that support. I was actually driving this car to Northern Ohio to our past customers, Roger and Pat. Well, you heard the order. It's a beautiful 3LT Stingray with a natural dipped interior. We'll try and get some pictures for you just a little bit, but uh, I better get this pie delivered. I mean, the ride delivered. And this is a unique opportunity for me because right now I'm about to put on the most miles I've ever put on in my life on a C8 mid-engine Corvette. Let's go. going to be a little different going from the GoPro to my handheld, but I want to keep my hands on the wheel and the eyes on the road. Right now, and I don't know if you can hear it, but you can't hear it. That's right. There's, I mean, there's hardly any noise inside this car. Extremely quiet, and the engine's right there. <laughs> wow. See, this is what I need. A little bit of time to get intimate to really take in this mid-engine Corvette. And now I know what you guys feel like that are taking delivery, new owners of this car, because everybody's been looking at me as I'm driving this to Roger and Pat's house. And I'm doing 55 miles an hour right now too. I mean, so, like I said, no road noise. It's nuts. It's nice. Let me tell you something. We're going to have a lot to talk about. I've been driving the C8 for 15 minutes. Oh, 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 wow. But on the phone right now, I wanted you to hear just some differences uh, in the Bluetooth. Uh, on the phone right now is my friend Pete in Michigan. Say hi, Pete. Hey, guys. How's everybody doing? Everybody okay? Hang in there, buddy. I mean, Pete, it sounds like you and I are sitting on the couch talking to each other, man. This is pretty cool. <laughs> well, if you're in the level two seats, I know it's like sitting on your couch. Ah, uh, so now you, you've already answered my next question. I know you have a C7 Corvette, and you've had an opportunity to drive one of these C8s, haven't you? Yes, I have. It's, it's, a, it's a race car and a country cruiser all melded together in one. It's fantastic. That's a good way to describe it. Country cruiser, and a, yeah, it, it is. It's, it, you know, I've always said for and years. And a road racer. But, no doubt about it. Absolutely. But I'll never drive the Absolutely. car like that. So for people that are looking for a Corvette to be true to its heritage, you'll have that performance aspect. But from the user friendliness, and that's exactly what this car is, from space and just comfort, uh, 
wow, uh, what a treat this really is, man. This is, I know you've had many more miles than myself. Uh, this is, I've got uh, 20 miles on this car so far, and <laughs> yeah. I'm beyond, beyond impressed, man. So look at that there on the map, guys. You can see the skyline of uh, Columbus that I'm in right now. Isn't that cool? Incredible features on this new car. All right, guys, what I want you to watch is this right here. This says V8 mode, and it switches right over to V4 mode and you can't feel a difference. A lot depends on if you're driving on an incline, your acceleration and RPMs and all that. Now look at right now, see it just switched over and I'm just kind of, you see what I'm doing. I'm doing 38, 40 miles an hour now. Now it's back over to V8 mode. But I don't feel any difference in there. Some people were worried about that, that it would feel sluggish in the car and it doesn't. It needs to switch back over again. I didn't feel a darn thing. <laughs> all right guys, you see the head up display? Now what's the one thing on the C7 head up that we didn't have that you really wanted to have on C8? Well, you got it. The turn signals. All right guys, we're back on the handheld and what I want you to listen for is noise. I'm doing 60 miles an hour. The engine's right back there. What do you hear? I mean, virtually nothing. This is really, really something. With all the craziness, you know, hurry up and wait, stop, go, allocation situations, we're going to be talking about that in a future vlog if we haven't already, as far as where we stand with 2020s and a lot of you guys, you know, it's amazing, you know, cars start arriving and everybody wants one now, it's like, wait a minute, you know, the cars that we're delivering were cars that were ordered last summer or last fall, it's kind of crazy, so myself, yeah, I want one, I'm going to get one, I'm not going to step in front of a customer on a 2020. My plan was to wait toward the end of 2020, you know, as you get ready to go into the 21s and have somebody back out say, hey, I'm just gonna get a 21. It's like, great, I'm just gonna slide in there. And now with all this stuff going on and another delay because of the virus situation, uh, I'm definitely gonna be a 21 guy and probably order my car at the end of this year so I get it at the beginning of season next year, get it January, February, something like that. And I just, wow, I really, really can't wait. You know, and this is, an exotic feeling Corvette. Yeah, I sell them. And I, I told you before, and you guys know this, if you've been on my channel for any length of time, I'm gonna tell you exactly what I think. We'll talk about some shortcomings on the C8. There's hardly any. It's just, For me, I'm just so excited to see the car evolve to where we're at right now. And I get the C7s and I just love them. That latest promotion that they had, if this car wasn't out, I already would have bought one of the Stingrays we had in stock and just done that because I want to have a car for myself because I'm not just a salesman. I am a fan, I am an enthusiast, and it's driving me nuts. But I'm the guy that I can relate to a lot of you in the audience that, that you don't have yours yet but you're still tuning in and seeing what's going on in the marketplace, so I appreciate that. You know, I still have three kids at home, and I got, you know, and, and it's always something, right? So now I got to put flooring in the house. We need this, we need that. It's like, wait a minute, there goes my Corvette fund. It's like, after 25 years of selling this car, no more excuses, no more delays. I gotta get one. So I'm gonna use it as a promotional tool for what I think and feel of the car, representing the car, experiences with you guys when I'm at shows. You can sit in the car, drive the car, whatever the case may be. I mean, it's going to be a promotional tool, but it'll be still something for my personal enjoyment. You know, my son Ryan's going to want to get behind the wheel. He's He loves the new car. He, really, he loves any Corvette. He really does. You know, and I'm the guy that over the years that I put my family first and I could have bought a Corvette a couple of times and I had the stories of the one that got away. I could have bought a new one. Actually, I'll tell you about one of those stories in today's delivery in the car I'm actually delivering because I had a car ordered for stock, but it was for me. It was at 15. Uh, we'll talk more when we get to Roger's house. But uh, I had an opportunity to buy a 98 pace car. Didn't do that. Uh, bought a Suburban for the family. That's as much as a Corvette. And yeah, at, at this point in my life, I want to share that with you guys and I want to be more a part of the community. I mean, I'm a lifetime member of the National Corvette Museum and I don't even have a damn car. 
But again, you, what's the phrase my friend said before? You make the most important thing the most important thing. And the hours that I'm working right now, it was always hard for me to justify having a Corvette because I'm working, I mean, now with the vlog and thanks to the support, you guys have really, really made it uh, a key element to my marketing of the car and sharing so much. Uh, I'm doing 80 hours a week. So when am I really gonna enjoy the car and I live two miles from the office? Um, don't worry, I'll find a way. <laughs> Absolutely. Sitting in this car right now and just getting some miles on it. It'll be just under 200 miles I'm driving this car today. <laughs> Boy, it's making it really tough to wait, which is almost gonna be another year for me. And I know a lot of you have waited long enough. You're like, yeah, enough already, Rick. I can't wait to get mine. I, I know, I know how you feel. And that's the thing for me representing this car as really a true exclusive Corvette specialist. I'm not just a salesman. I get it, guys. I relate and I feel what you're feeling. I'm about to feel me slam on the brakes here because these people are just sitting at a light right here. But I'm not doing anything crazy in this car. This is Roger and Pat's car. I'm not doing anything crazy. And I won't do anything crazy in my car. My intention right now is to order the regular Stingray, hoping in 21 that they at least offer the Z51 style spoiler as an accessory. Real quick, let me just talk about the steering wheel, guys. A few people have asked me that. And just, as you can see, I only got one hand on the wheel, the other hand's on the camera. But uh, you've got different positions that even though this odd shape, uh, as it appears, is very natural, very comfortable. You feel like you've got great control of the car, good visibility right here, right here. Uh, and, and, you know, like I say, you put your hand here, you can put your hand here, you can put your hand here. It feels fantastic, guys, it really does. Right now, I just feel like I'm just really having a conversation with you guys and just sharing some of my thoughts and my feelings. And I can't even, I can't even put a big enough grin on my face right now to tell you how impressed I am with this all new Mini Engine Corvette. This is what I needed. When they had all those YouTubers go out to Vegas, I was ticked off, man. I was jealous. Uh, I wanted to be there. I wanted to have that opportunity. It's like, and you know what? Out of all those people that did those reviews and made their vlogs, I bet less than 1% of them, number one, will sell a car for Chevrolet, let alone buy one. Just didn't have that opportunity to drive through the countryside of Las Vegas, Nevada, and really get familiar with the car, get intimate with the car, just, just to feel it. I mean, our training session was so controlled. I mean, I got a lot out of it, but not as much as what I needed for me and for you guys, the stuff that I need to convey to you guys. So when you ask me a question, I can give you a real answer, not just something to say something to sell a car, because you guys know what that's all about. That's You got a lot of that crap out there right now. Oh, I remember when we were in Nevada, we were inside one of the training sessions and we were learning about the radio system. So I'm in the system right now that has 14 speakers and we cranked it up and I recorded it. <laughs> She stops the class and says, let me remind you, in case you forgot, no recording, no pictures inside the car. Davenport leans over me and he goes, um, goes are you recording in the car? I said, yeah, in case you dummy. So give me a second, let me turn on something here, and now I can record, now I can share with you guys how great this radio system sounds in the Bose Performance Series, 14 speakers in your managing Corvette.
I didn't even have it all the way. I don't know if I could take it all the way. And I had it, like I was telling you guys, we'll talk more about that in a future vlog in center point. And there's so many different ways you can adjust the sound, but I wanted to have more of a fuller, consistent sound within the cabin. Uh, were you able to hear me at all over that? Holy crap. I mean, holy crap, you guys. I, that That's incredible. Thumbs up. Oh, maybe I'll get him again. Let's see if we can get him again. Give me more thumbs up. Come on, guys. You're going to be on the vlog. <laughs> they were just taking my picture. Now I know. Now I know how you guys feel. What a feeling it is. Hard to describe, but um, you know. All right. He wants to race. Let's race the Malibu. Here we go. I had to get off and I pulled over to the parking lot and I see that sitting there and I'm like, absolutely, I'm parking <laughs> this next to that. How you doing, man? Great, great. Is that your first time seeing the new one? No, I seen it up at um, at the Dream Cruise. Yeah, no kidding. But that's the, that's Is this color. you right here? Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was yours. Yeah, that's that's the color, man, that uh, red with the, what is that, like a... Well, they call it natural, natural, so it's got like a Ferrari look to it. Nice. Isn't that something? I gotta get my phone, I gotta get a picture got, of this. I gotta get a picture of this. Yeah, absolutely. Photo op, another photo op. You thought the silo was cool, check this out. I don't know how well it's gonna turn out on camera, but oh my gosh, you guys, look at this dash, look at the A pillars, look at the underside of the roof. This beautiful 3LT Stingray going to Roger and Pat. I'm almost there. But before I get back on the road, let me just share with you guys, uh, you're looking for some feedback from me. Hey, Rick, what do you think about the car? You've been hearing a little bit in this vlog. I've been impressed with this car, all the research that we've done, all the studying we've been doing on the car. But me in this car now for uh, 137 miles, uh, I, I big hats off to the entire Corvette team, Taj, Harlan, I know you guys have been working on this car a little bit longer than most for new designs. Well worth the wait. Incredible job taking Zora's dream, perfecting it. I mean, really, you know, for the people that, and we've talked about this before in the vlog, but the people that say, hey, I don't want that first year car, screw that. This thing rocks. It really does. And the level, now I know what Ron Fellows was talking about when we were in Nevada. And it was amazing that he identified that. But the, the level of comfort that you have just driving this car is simply amazing. That's what Ron said. He wasn't talking about the performance of the car, which that's great too. We'll have more time to talk about that, but I can't do anything. This is not my car, I can't do that. But he said he loved how streetable that the car is. And Ron, you're right. A lot of you that I've talked to that have been driving the car, you're right, you know what I'm talking about. A lot of you are about to discover what we're talking about, and that's what I want to convey on this vlog, that uh, if you've got a C8 coming, whether it's a 20, a 21, we've said that what for the last year, it's worth the wait. Yes, it's worth the wait. Oh my gosh, this thing is amazing. And we'll talk more in future vlogs, because I've been playing around with this a little bit, and I'm really starting to get comfortable with it. I love some of the quick links down here. I mean, if you're uncomfortable with this for your HVAC controls, uh, boom, just hit it right there, and it's up on your screen. So more to come, more about this all-new mid-engine C8 Corvette design. Man, man, is this thing smooth. Now take a look at what I'm looking at right now. Yeah. 
Now, you know, I've delivered a lot of Z51 cars. You guys have seen that here on the channel. And they talked about it when the car was revealed last July in California, how they re-engineered the performance nature of that tire for Z51. And I've noticed it. Uh, we've had some cool days here in Ohio, so when we're turning the wheel, I'm not noticing that, that chippity-chop, that tire skip. Well, this car has the all-season tires in it, just the regular Stingray without the Z51. And I noticed that and how much softer and smoother just by my contact with the road, it just gives me more confidence handling this car. Yeah. filming me coming in no. driving oh no, oh you missed it that's all right hey guys this is roger everybody how you doing fine sir <laughs> yeah well, yeah all social distance political correct whatever the crap you want to call whatever it whatever you want to call it absolutely well thanks for having me come to your home buddy uh, all the years I've known you, I've seen pictures, but I've never been here. It's I great to be here. It. Boy, does this look good in the driveway. Holy crap, does that look good in the driveway, man. Wow. Yes. Wow, indeed. Oh, wow, is it. I was just getting off the freeway and had a guy in a Volvo was getting off the exit, and he sped up on the right-hand side of me and yeah. looks at me, and he goes like this, like fist pumping. He's like, yeah. <laughs> and, oh, yeah, he was, he was fired up. Let me tell you something, buddy. This interior is elegant and gorgeous, but you see what I got on the floor there. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just, I, this is going to be a little bit to take care of. And I, you know, I here. <laughs> that looks good. Hey, sweetie. Hi. Congratulations. Thanks. Doesn't that look good? Yeah, it's great. Yeah, buddy. I need some black formats is what I need. Uh, yeah, probably, because you can still pull off black because you've got black here, yeah. you've got some black there. The black seat belts work out great. I know you wanted to do that so they don't get dirty, but or, it is just gorgeous. Or the uh, weather guard. Or, yeah, okay, I know what you're talking about, yeah. yeah. What do you think? Wow. What do you think? It's great, it's pretty. I'm yeah. so excited to be here, you guys. <laughs> this thing is beautiful. And look at, no, I don't think there's any bugs. Ah, there might be, yeah, is there one bug? Okay, yeah, probably one. But all ceramic coated, looking good. Yeah. Good. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Thanks so for how many miles did you put on? 100 um, I don't know. It said 162 here, but I, I forgot to look when I got out of the car. Okay. But not quite but, that much. Uh, it is the most there. miles I've ever driven on a C8, and it is the most fun to date I've had in a C8, thanks to these guys. It doesn't, <laughs> really it doesn't look like it was driven oh, down the block. Oh, dude, I was staying away from all the idiots out there, you know. Oh. And then, of course, everybody's in your blind spot. They're trying to take pictures, and I get that, but yeah. all the trucks, they're in this lane. I'm over in this lane, you know, I'm bouncing all over the place. Absolutely. So that's the trade-in I'm taking back, guys. That'll be another separate vlog there. I like the interior. Right. I do too. I do too. You know, I saw on your your blog today, vlog, excuse me, <laughs> the uh, the red and black two tones. Yes. And they're gorgeous. And all red is gorgeous. They're all gorgeous. Right. It really is. I still got some stuff on the seat here, paperwork and stuff like that. But I mean, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Well, and then your uh, engine's back here now, sir. Yeah. <laughs> and how, oh, yeah. how do we? Look at that. Wow. It's right here on the E, where the E is in Corvette. Yeah. The little uh -huh. button's right okay. underneath there. Before it's the T's on the C7. Yeah. Here mm -hmm. it's just right at the E, okay. and you get right back in there. Thank you. Mm. That neat. Uh, Look at that, guys. In the rear. Very nice. I was talking to Roger, coming down. Uh huh. Uh, you can't even hear the engine yeah. in there. It's yeah. just amazing how quiet it is in the car. Yeah. It's uh, so comfortable. Like I said to you, I, I, it sounded like you were in your office. No kidding. Is that, that quiet? That's amazing. <laughs> uh, how many vets have you guys had? Uh, this will be number 17. Number 17? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Well, actually, uh, <laughs> wow. 17 and a half. <laughs> I had... 
I had a. Uh, Would you wrap one around a tree or no? <laughs> no, no. I I got one. What was it? A thirteen, I guess. Four twenty-seven. Yeah. And it had uh, the black headlight, and I I just didn't like the, yeah. that tone. Gotcha. So I took it back to the next day, and they said no problem. Now, if you guys remember on the vlog, I was talking about one of the ones that got away from me that I didn't do. I ordered a car in 15, sharp gray coupe, with brownstone interior, gorgeous car. Get a call from Roger. He says, hey, and things were moving really fast as they are now. And he goes, hey, I'm really looking for sharp gray coupe with a brownstone interior. And I pause, and he's like on the phone, hello? And uh, <laughs> yeah. it's like, you know, and again, that mindset, I don't want to step in front of a customer, but I actually ordered that car for me. And he goes, what, do you got one? And I'm like, it's not here yet. I have, I have one come, and I kind of ordered it for myself. And uh, I go, um, yeah, it's it's for sale. And he bought it. <laughs> he did. That was pretty nice. That was a beautiful, I love, I love the brownstone. That I was a gorgeous that, car. Yeah. Really, really classy. Just like yeah. this. Very classy. Something different, you know, that you don't mm -hmm. see all the time. A lot of people miss that brownstone interior. You only oh, could get yeah. it in that up level. And, and the, yeah. the shark. I wish they had it again. Yeah, I know. Shark gray is one of those colors that the sun really does it nice. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It was it was a different type of gray. It had more of a brown undertone type yeah. of gray, yeah, right. which yeah. went great with the brown stone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. This looks like a Ferrari, guys. Look at this darn thing. And you're gonna get that. I'm sorry. You're gonna get that a lot. A lot of people say that, yeah. but yeah. red calipers. Yes. Oh, and I'd forgotten. So we started today's vlog with a bit like, and I did like a fake phone call, like you guys were ordering a pizza. So <laughs> I should have got. I forgot to get out of the car. Hey, sorry, your pizza cold. I got it for you right here. I got the side of the red calipers just like you wanted. Okay, so I'm filming on Sunday, so it is kind of technically a coffee with Conti. It's officially a coffee with Conti because look at what Roger and Pat had made for me. <laughs> look, look at that. <laughs> is that incredible? I love you guys. That is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> it is awesome. Look at that thing. I like it. Yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it. Thank you. That is awesome. <laughs> and look at this. This is going to be hanging in the office too, guys. Now, isn't that funny? I have to show that to Chuck. I think he'll get a kick out of that. One thing I'm going to tell you guys you need to do, though, you probably need to feed your birds because I think they ticked yeah. them off. <laughs> Dude, I swear to God, they knew that they got a brand new car. We come out, we were inside going through the house a little bit, and a bird crapped on their brand new car. Can you believe that? Oregon, Oregon Ohio is a bird city of uh, birders come here from all over yeah so that's all over the world yeah yeah <laughs> yeah they love they love your car yeah. <laughs> unbelievable man but i had a moment to go through the house with roger and pat and it was really neat uh, i love the blue room from north carolina that was pretty cool got to see pictures of all the cars including all the corvettes that he had in one particular room and that was really neat uh, the corvette pinball machine was cool and i love the corvette train Ooh, that, was, train. that was Ron, pretty cool Ron Kirby. Yeah. yeah hey ronnie and um <laughs> It was just neat to spend that time with you guys. Really Thanks. Nice. This oh, makes good. I appreciate good. you coming up, helping oh, me out. It's been a blast. This makes it just a little bit more special. I know that some of the stuff we talked about on the new car is a little overwhelming. Yeah. Yes. Really good owner's manual. Got a mini owner's manual in there. We'll be talking. We'll be doing more tips for you guys on the blog, so you guys have a lot of fun right. with that. But, okay. Uh, but uh, it, it's not, I don't really get to give you a send-off, Pat, because the car's already here. So let me give you an arrival, Pat. So if you would, just stand over by, <laughs> just stand over by the car. But Roger's got an idea because I got to trade in. I got to get home somehow. So I have a trade in that they're, uh, they're getting, well, you know, Roger's wife's name is Pat. So I'm going to get a Pat Pat <laughs> when, I, when I leave. So right there, just so they're standing by the car, we got a little arrival Pat for <laughs> You're in Pat in Oregon, Ohio. Congratulations, guys. Okay, now I'm going to do this Pat Pat thing. I think it was cute. That was Roger's idea. I love it. Oh, he's not ready yet. Okay. He said he'd let you know. I thought. Right, Pat, give me a little Pat Pat. You've got to be in the back of the car, though. Go, Did you go. Get in the, back of the, car? Uh, the back of the car. Am I good? No, no, we can't see. <laughs> I've never done that. <laughs> He's gonna have some fun with that on the way home. Roger said he goes. He goes. Uh, by the way, I've never done that in the car. <laughs> Why did I have it? Uh, Should have done more. I didn't, I didn't want to hit your cars over there. Yeah, it's, cold. it's a little colder out here than I thought it would yeah. be. That's all right though. So I got me a Pat 
Pat and Arrival Pat and Send Off Pat and all that stuff on the vlog. Congratulations once again to Roger and Pat. Thanks again for joining us, guys. I do appreciate it.